Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Viet and I'm vegan and today we're going to be making a very delicious recipe and it is a perfect way to use up a ton of potatoes, a ton of carrots that you have chilling in your fridge. It is a very warming stew and it is easily done in the Instant Pot. I have a couple of versions of this recipe um, that are made either with this, with more ingredients, with fewer ingredients, with just spice blends. So I'll leave different links for those renditions down below but this is like my favorite recent one because it is so simple and I just throw everything in the Instant Pot and then 10 minutes later I have soup. It's a great time. Time. You can add more carrots, you can add other root vegetables. You just want to chop everything to be somewhat the same. But it'll all cook in the Instant Pot anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. I'm using white potatoes specifically because I want the white potatoes to hold their shape. Red potatoes could also work in this, I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't recommend yellow or russet potatoes because they will just absorb all the moisture and then they'll just fall apart, which is like, you know, it could, it could be good. You'll just have a very thick soup. <laughs> So once you have all of your vegetables chopped up and ready to go into the pot, this should take about like maybe 10, 15 minutes, depending on how good you are with a knife. And we'll start cooking everything in the Instant Pot. So what I like to do for these lentils, a lot of people don't really bother rinsing their lentils, but because these are kind of starchy and they've been split, I like to rinse them really well until the sort of bubbles or like the white bubbles that you can see sort of peter out and they don't happen as often. So when you're cooking them in the Instant Pot, it'll sort of bubble up as kind of like a scum on the top layer of the soup. I don't really like that and I don't really like having to get rid of that. So I try to rinse it out ahead of time. So using the saute function on high, cook the onions with oil and saute until lightly browned and the onions are translucent. Next add the curry paste and garlic and then cook mashing the curry paste through to wake up the flavors. You can add a splash of coconut milk here to help loosen the curry paste and then add the remaining coconut milk and stir through. Next, add the diced carrots, potatoes, rinse and drain lentils to the pot and cover with water or vegetable broth. Here I just used water and then later used mushroom broth powder, but you can just use your favorite vegetable broth or you can even use better than bouillon paste as well. Stir to get the lentils sort of distributed a bit better underneath the liquid and then pat the vegetables underneath the water so that they're all settled under the liquid. Cover with a lid and then move the vent to seal and pressure cook on high for about 10 minutes. You can use a natural release or you can manually release. I tend to wait about 30 minutes and then manually release the rest because there's such a high water content in this that it gets a little scary. So I prefer just to let it do its thing for about half an hour, but you know, I've also just released the vent right after 10 minutes and it's been totally fine. Check the potatoes for doneness and then add your frozen peas and corn and stir to cook through. Add salt or in my case, mushroom broth powder to taste and enjoy. I love how thick and comforting the soup is. It's like really, really thick. If you prefer it thinner, you can add more liquid or you can lower the amount of time that you use to cook so the lentils don't completely puree. This makes a really good meal prep but it was a great way to have um, a really nice, comforting, warm soup to welcome us to the cottage. And it was delicious. Eddie also ate this for lunch a couple times for work and it was a good time. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this very short little video and I hope you guys like this recipe. So let me know if you like videos like this and maybe I'll make some more. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this kind of video, give it a like, subscribe if you want more recipes and I hope you guys have a delicious day.